So tell us a little bit about your your setup, what this is, and who you are. Okay, uh, so my name is Joseph Breitsky, and I've been a volunteer. This is my fifth season at the Farmer's Market. Okay, and um, when we have the, the festival days, I always do food demos, and my goal is to try to get people excited to cook for themselves again, to go home in their own kitchen and make something. And uh, so today I have, they all happen to be vegan. I wasn't trying to do that. That's but, perfect. <laughs> but um, I wanted to show people that the rind is actually a very delicious vegetable option. Oh, really? So what I've done here is I've uh, peeled the, um, the dark green off. Okay. And I'll slice it up and put a little bit of salt. And then after it's uh, had about an hour to weep, you can press out and it gets this nice translucent. And what you're left with is like a really crunchy, delicious, uh, it reminds you of if, if, you know, like watermelon and cucumber could have a baby, that's what you end up with. Oh, really? Okay, and so, and you can eat it just like as a raw, fresh vegetable. You could also saute it and cook it. And in this case, I'm asking people to try it with this North African nut and spice blend called Duca. So grab a toothpick and try it. It's so tasty. Looks really good. And it's really crunchy, and the salt just gives it a little edge of savoriness. That is good. And you can do whatever. Uh, nuts you happen to have in your pantry. Oh, okay. Uh, this is on the New York Times website and they have about six Zuka recipes. Okay. So I think like every country in North Africa has their own favorite combination of flavors that they do. Okay. Um, so did you say you were a volunteer? Yes. I've also taught uh, cooking classes for children. Again, the idea to try to get kids learning about food and excited about cooking Do at you home. still do that? I sort of ran out of time and my uh, my uh, volunteerism just sort of shifted off okay. into other directions. I miss it though because yeah. kids I think that's love great. to yes. My kids love, love to cook. And that's why I was right. Yeah. I think that's great. We're trying to also highlight kids on our site that um, loves cooking and has a love for cooking and just getting in the kitchen and learning to cook in a healthy way with whole foods. Yes, so. and so this is a Russian watermelon pickle. It's Russian watermelon pickles. And the website, Sever, that's a cooking magazine, you can get the, the recipe off of their website. You make this brine, and I bet you you have everything in your kitchen already. It's garlic and water, salt, sugar, pickling spice, and if you don't have that, you can Google a recipe and you bet you've got the spices to do it. And then uh, so it's fresh pickle. garlic okay. and celery cut up. And you just cut watermelon, drop it in that brine, and within a half an hour it tastes amazing. But you can put it in and just keep it in the refrigerator and snack on it for a couple of weeks right. easily. That's what I'm, I always look for, little stuff to keep in the refrigerator. Hey. Like the other day I cut up wow. cucumbers and tomatoes and put some red wine vinegar. You know, just to give me a good refreshing snack. So, anyway, well, thanks for